This documentary follows the complete production of a Hitachi hydraulic excavator. All scenes take place inside a large industrial manufacturing campus. The locations include a steel processing hall, an undercarriage assembly line, a hydraulic component factory, an engine integration zone, a boom and arm fabrication hall, a cab production facility. Every section operates with strict industrial standards, automated systems, and controlled workflows. All machinery, signage, screens, control panels, labels, and written instructions appear strictly in English. No local language markings are shown. All workers appear in neutral uniforms with no personal names, no cultural identifiers, and no handwritten text. The excavator begins as large, high-strength steel plates stored inside a controlled warehouse. Each steel plate is identified with an English code, such as Upper frame plate, X frame left, boom plate, arm side plate, or bucket wear plate. Automated systems move the plates to CNC cutting stations or bucket wear plate. Automated systems move the plates to CNC cutting stations. Plasma cutters and fiber lasers create the shapes for the upper frame. Plasma cutters and fiber lasers create the shapes for the upper frame. The X-frame undercarriage, the boom, the arm, and the bucket components. All cut edges follow precise bevel angles. Robotic arms transport the parts to forming machines. Hydraulic presses and roller bending machines shape the steel into curved forms. Required for boom and arm construction. The upper frame and X-frame are aligned using laser measurement systems. In the welding hall, robotic welding systems perform long seam welds. Human welders perform short, complex welds in reinforced areas. All welds follow a documented, standardized procedure. Completed structures undergo ultrasonic inspection and magnetic particle testing. After inspection, all structural parts receive sandblasting and anti-corrosion. Primer. In the undercarriage hall, the X-frame is mounted on a precision alignment platform. Bottom rollers, carrier rollers, idlers, and sprocket hubs are installed using torque-controlled tools. Each component uses sealed bearings with lifetime lubrication. Track chains are assembled with steel links and hardened pins. Track shoes are bolted using calibrated torque settings. The tensioning cylinder is filled with grease to regulate chain tension. 
Laser systems confirm alignment, ensuring that the undercarriage can support. The hydraulic system is produced inside a clean and isolated division. Main pumps, control valves, travel motors, and swing motors are built using high-precision machining. Axial piston pumps operate at high pressure and require micrometer level accuracy. Valve blocks distribute hydraulic flow to the boom, arm, bucket, swing system, and travel components. Hydraulic cylinders are produced from honed tubes and chrome-plated rods. Each cylinder is pressure-tested above its working limits. Steel pipes are bent with automated mandrel bending machines. High-pressure hoses are crimped and burst-tested. The hydraulic components pass through a closed-loop testing bench that simulates real operating loads. Boom components and arm components are positioned on dedicated alignment fixtures. Pin bosses are inserted using hydraulic presses. Internal reinforcement ribs are installed according to structural diagrams. The bucket is manufactured from abrasion-resistant steel and fitted with cutting, edges, and ground-engaging teeth. The boom cylinder, arm cylinder, and bucket cylinder are installed with precision ground pins. All pivot points receive automatic grease application. The entire front attachment assembly is tested on a hydraulic simulator to verify smooth movement and structural strength. The operator cab is built separately from all other components. The cab frame is welded from high-strength steel. Large glass panels are fitted using robotic handling systems. The interior includes a suspension seat, pilot joysticks, foot pedals, an English-language multifunction monitor, camera connections, HVAC modules, wiring harnesses, and sound insulation layers. All electronic modules communicate using a standardized KN network. Every switch, label, icon, and display uses English text only. The assembled cab passes through vibration testing, leak testing, and electrical testing before approval. In this stage, all major subsystems meet at the main assembly line. The upper frame is lowered onto the swing bearing and secured with torqued. The engine module is positioned inside the upper frame and connected to the cooling. System, hydraulics, and electronic control units.
the hydraulic system, including pumps, valves, swing motor, and travel motors, is it connected using steel pipes and high-pressure hoses. The completed cab is mounted on vibration isolating brackets and connected to electrical and pilot hydraulic lines. The boom, arm, and bucket assembly is attached to the excavator house using hardened pivot pins. All installed systems are filled with the required fluids. Hydraulic oil, engine oil, coolant, swing gear oil, and travel reducer oil. Electronic calibration ensures all sensors and actuators operate correctly. The fully assembled excavator enters a comprehensive testing sequence. Electronic diagnostics verify communication between all sensors, joysticks, monitors, and modules. Hydraulic pressure tests confirm that boom, arm, bucket, swing, and travel. Circuits reach their specified operating pressures. On the test track, the excavator travels at different speeds, performs turns, and demonstrates its swing response. At the soil testing area, the machine performs trenching, lifting, and leveling under load. The operator cab is evaluated for noise levels, vibration isolation, and display accuracy. After completing all tests, the excavator undergoes a final inspection. Paint, quality, lubrication points, track tension, hydraulic lines, torque markings, and structural integrity. Once approved, the machine is assigned a serial number documented in the global system and moved to the shipping yard for worldwide delivery. Once approved, the machine is moved to the shipping yard. It is prepared for worldwide delivery. The process ensures quality for global customers. Each machine represents a commitment to excellence. From raw steel to a powerful tool. A journey of precision engineering. Built to perform, built to last. The Hitachi standard of quality. Delivered to projects around the world. This is the art of manufacturing. Hitachi, the future of construction.